If you are on day two or three or maybe five of your PMDD luthal phase, this video is just for you. I hope that you are already in your sweatpants. I hope you're already in your favorite sweatshirt or hoodie or robe or comfort cardigan. And I hope and pray that you're open to receive guidance that has radically shifted and supported me during this very difficult and challenging time during the PMDD luthal phase. Hello and welcome. My name is Sarah Elizabeth and I am a Reiki master, a trauma-informed yoga teacher, and I teach women like you how to heal themselves energetically through energy medicine, through movement and self-healing practices, and also plant medicine. I'm so honored and privileged to be sharing this journey with you and what has supported me. And this is kind of like a celebration. I'm inviting you into a celebration with me because today I am in day three of my luthal phase. And this time last year, I was not okay. During the whole entire luthal phase of my PMD phase, PMDD phase, I was in bed with chronic pain, with suicidal ideations, with um, severe brain fog. I had no energy and I literally thought at that time and space that this was going to be my life. And I really could not understand because spirit has placed so much purpose and passion and joy to go out and really support and elevate and guide the divine feminine, the universal consciousness to evolve into the, their higher selves. And now I'm laying in bed and contemplating taking my own life. Like what's going on here? I want to encourage you to check out some videos in the description below and you can kind of see a timeline of where I had these breakthroughs and I believe there's a video where I had like this massive breakthrough and I really want to encourage you to watch that and fast forward like three or four months later I had this another breakthrough because I've been practicing what uh, has been given to me by my own body's intuition and it is my intention to share that with you and with the hopes and prayers that you can make it your own that you can find power peace and harmonious times in this experience and that you can go out and share with your community but I want to go back to saying, um, circling around that, you know, this time last year I was not okay. I was physically, mentally, and spiritually not okay. But today, fast forward a year later, day three into my luthal phase, which is really, really tough for us, right? I have the energy to come and sit with you and talk with you. I am enjoying that it's okay to rest and restore and reflect. I still feel the pain in my body, but it is not engulfing my whole entire existence. I am not projecting the anger and the anxiety and the depression like I did last year. It's more, it's not really contained, but it just feels softened. And so today in this video, I'm gonna give you a couple pointers of things that you can implement into your life. And if you are implementing these things into your life, please trust in divine timing. When you implement these practices in your PMDD journey, you are decoding, reconstructing, rebuilding, reshifting, transmuting energy. 
and it takes time okay so please give yourself a lot of time give yourself a lot of space in your healing trust me what you are looking for in this journey will find you it certainly will and I can say that with conviction now if you would I believe someone told me that uh, last year and I was like but you don't understand I'm in chronic pain <laughs> But fast forward now, I see the bigger picture and I know for me, it's made me a better, wiser woman. We're building a collective of elders uh, in the community, in the universal consciousness to guide their younger generation back to their womb space, back to their power. So that's my perspective of it. So, Here's the first thing to lighten the load, to soften the load when you're going into your luthal phase. And that first thing is to get rid of anything that will cause inflammation in the womb space. I believe the number one thing that causes inflammation uh, within the womb is coffee. And I'm not telling you to quit coffee like no absolutely not what i'm asking is for you to first be mindful okay when you start going into that luthal phase and if you have a cup of coffee you need to really pay attention to what's happening in your body for example when i was entering into my luthal phase i would have a cup of coffee and the first thing that would start hurting is my uterus and then when my uterus is angry everything else is angry and it just it sets a bad tone for the day so when i had my cup of coffee today my uterus was telling me absolutely not and i said okay and so i say all right well in a week i will look forward to having a cup of coffee because i'm not saying for you to get rid of it because coffee is good for us in increments um, it's just not safe to consume every single day, if that makes sense. So what can we transition our coffee intake with? Well, I transition into tea, and I'm not trying to be like one of those woo-woo people or anything else like that, but these are just practices that really work and uh, are designed by Mother Earth for us to partake in to support us during these times. And that is tea. So there are certain herbs and herbal blends that you can uh, get to support you in your luthal phase. And this cup of tea that I have right here that is just calling my name in this particular tea blend, I have passion flower and passion flower. I infuse the intention to help let loose of the body, to help relax the cervix, to help relax the womb space. Because in my mind, I am preparing the body to shed and to give birth. So I know when I'm tense and when I'm tight and when you know you when you're just really constricted and restricted, passion flower helps open you up and relaxes you and it's really really good for uh if you're having a hard time sleeping. I hope you took a sip with me right then and there because I'm going to take a few more. The other thing I have in this tea blend is motherwort. Motherwort is a powerful herb that I encourage every single woman on the planet to invest in. Mother's wort is a mothering herb. It, it really supports us and comforts us during this time of reflection and preparing for death and resurrection. Um, and then the other thing I have in here is... Um, Oat straw. Oat straw is really good uh, putting the minerals that we've lost over the past couple days uh, or yeah, past couple days, especially after giving birth, it puts the minerals back into our body 
um, just offering us uh, extra support. So really look into herbs like the ones that I've mentioned that is designed and built by Mother Nature to support us in this uh, during this luthal phase. Um, and there's so many out there. I've explored so many herbs on my PMDD journey and uh, this doesn't even touch the iceberg. Like I have an herb for everything, okay? And if you would like to know more about that, um, let me know in the comments below or however you find this video and I'll share that with you. And the second thing that really supports me through my luthal phase is elimination. And elimination means uh, having bowel movements. You don't want anything sitting on top of the uterus because it is that pressure that is causing aggravation and pain. And I don't know if it's because I've had kids. I don't know if it's a thing when you just get older. I'm, I'm going into my 40s. Um, the uterus just gets more sensitive. But at what I know when my bladder is full or if my colon is full, my uterus is not happy. You know, PMDD, we have this perception that it is a curse, but really it is asking, it is our, our innate wisdom asking us to pay attention to what is going on in our body so it can guide us to the right direction of our desires or manifestations or healing, whatever the case may be. And yes, I get it, it sounds like BS, but I will gladly argue and defend that this is the cold, hard freaking truth, right? So um, the best way that you can start eliminating um, the colon is uh, by taking magnesium. Please consult with your doctor or please do your research and listen to your inner guidance when implementing new supplements or um, herbs into your daily living regimen. Uh, magnesium is really, really good for the bones, but it, it's really good for sleep also. So I take two at night and then in the morning, it really um, helps with detoxification and releasing the junk in the bowels. It's amazing. Follow up with lots and lots and lots of water, of course. If you want, you can add some probiotics in there um, to you know help cleanse out the the gut, the colon tract. Um, that's going to support you because again, the goal is to not have anything sitting or irritating the uterus, also known as the womb space. The third thing that I like to do, and I really want to encourage you to do this if you are a mother, a stay-at-home mom, and you got a bunch of kids, you got a bunch of dishes and a bunch of laundry, if you're an artist and you got to meet all these deadlines, or if you work for yourself, if you, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, some type of creative, if you're if you work outside your home, and if you have a day off during your luthal phase, please take this day to rest, okay? Your body is asking you to rest. And in that resting, do the things that you enjoy doing that you love to do. So one of the things that I took time to do today was to get on YouTube and um, look up some things to deepen my understanding and to remind myself of and to practice. And this is also a really good time to reflect, to get into your sweatpants, into your sweatshirt and sit on the couch and not beat yourself up or shame yourself or guilt yourself but to reflect on what is working and what is not working and pondering or 
reflecting on solutions to take with you into the next cycle, the next uh, moon cycle. Do you see what I'm saying? So for example, I got up today and you know, I don't have any energy to do anything, but I'm gonna sit on the couch, watch TV, you know, conscious TV, and I began reflecting on what's not working in my life. And right now I'm uh, working in a restaurant industry uh, to support me to build my business endeavors. And I'm dealing with a lot of negativity and that negativity was penetrating my auric field. And so today was a good day to reflect, you know, is it me, is it them, or what's, you know, like, let's look at the whole bigger picture here. And I invite my womb space to do that. Does that feel good for you? Does this resonate with you? I literally bend down and I talk to her like, what do you think about this? How do you feel about this? And, you know, a YouTube video pops up or, you know, this feeling comes up with a thought behind it that I know it's not for myself, right? So this is a really good day to rest and reflect and really do the things that you enjoy doing. And you'll be surprised when you just take that first three hours of the day, if that allows you to do that, you'll have the energy to do something that is not of you. You see what I'm saying? For example, making this video. Like, Spirit was telling me, make this video and show other women and teach other women, you know, how to get through what you're getting through right now. And if you would have asked me that last year, absolutely not. I can't even get out of bed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but it just, it just intuitively guides you to do something that's going to elevate your energy and to find peace and stuff like that. I'm gonna touch on this really, really quick and then we're gonna go on to the next thing, but I guess bonus tip, breath work and meditation, whether it's through journaling, through tarot or oracle pulling, um, through breath work, through intuitive dance, intuitive movement. If you look through um, my videos, I have a yoga video up. And if you want more of that, please let me know because if I can make more content like this, it will take me out of a situation uh, where I can get away from that. But that's a whole nother story, okay? Anyway, um, do things that's going to invite peace and relaxation into your body and that's really about disconnecting from the mind and just really going into that body and what's going to happen it's going to take you into that pain spot which is in the wombs right and so i'm going to switch the angle of this video and that's going to lead us to our Last thing, which happens to be a practice. All right, so hopefully you can see me and hear me. We'll find out in a few moments. <laughs> anyway, the last thing that I really wanna drive home with you is that we have been taught and it is in our ancestral karmic codes to depress, to suppress, to bypass, to shut down, disconnect, and dishonor our womb space. We have been taught that we are oversensitive, powerless we have been taught that sex is a shameful act 
that in order to be powerful that we have to, or to get that promotion or whatever the case may be, we have to push through our time of that we're supposed to be resting. We have been taught to suppress the most powerful thing in our body that gives life here on earth. And I'm not just talking about children, I'm talking about to books and music and art and dance and podcast and artistic expression, our fullest artistic expression. We have been taught to push all of that aside and we pushed it aside and we stuffed it in and now our bodies are like overloaded with stagnant energy, with trauma, with drama, with pain, with resistance. And we're looking in the mirror asking ourselves, what the f is wrong with me? And our intuition, our spirit, our soul, our womb space is highly intelligent and will do whatever it takes to get our attention. And in the beginning, we are suffering because, and the reason why we're suffering is because we don't know any better. We're still conditioned by society that we need to take a pill, we need to keep going, we need to do this and go do some yoga and you know, it's all in your head, you're crazy. We're, we're operating at this lower vibration that keeps us stuck. Until we find content like this and, and warriors like this and stories like this where we've been exactly where you're at and we're on the other side of things and we're keeping it real, I'm at my highest expression, I'm not sugarcoating things and I'm not going to make say things to make you feel better or saying, oh, you know, this is the influencer's lifestyle, I have PMDD and this is all great and wonderful. Absolutely not. I still have those days, but what makes it different is that I'm allowing the cycle, the PMDD cycle to happen and I'm not hold, I'm not fighting it, all right? So here's a concept that I want you to meditate on and reflect on. Now, when I say this, if you don't feel medically safe, please go see a doctor because Western medicine is here for a purpose. If you invite your intention and pray and, and be conscious about it, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I've not had any luck. Let me know if you have. God bless you if you have. But, um, if you're not severely hurting and if you're just dealing with the symptoms of PMDD, which is severe burning and aching of the uterus, think about maybe this is not pain. Maybe this is power within myself that I have suppressed, that I was unaware of. And I never felt this type of energy before. And I'm just going to sit here and connect to this energy and just see where it takes me. Because when we are not used to our highest expression of energy, also known as Kundalini uh, energy at the beginning it's very frightening it's scary and unfortunately it is very painful and so one of the biggest practices that has really supported me was feeling my womb space and really connecting to that area and then bringing that energy up 
bring it up and exhaling it out because you have to imagine it's just a pool of energies that's just sitting right there and it's asking you to please help me I mean I know what to do but this is a uh, tango that we do this together you are co-creator creator right and if it doesn't get the assistance that it needs it's going to sit there and be dormant till it meets you 31 days later right can you see the vicious cycle like we just let it sit there we're fighting through it and we finally made it and then we just begin the cycle all over again fighting it fighting it not moving it up so one of the biggest things i do is just i grab my womb space i push it in and i push her up and as i push her up i'm bringing that energy all the way up through my body and you'll be surprised of the energy that you feel throughout your body and don't be scared of it don't fight it don't invite logic into it just let it be just let it be and just let it come out direct that energy think of it as transmutation i'm transmuting this trauma and drama in my life and I'm offering it to the highest vibration of love, light, and wisdom in healing for the highest good of myself and for all. I promise you, if you sit with this practice, when you feel that in your body and guide that pain up, it will give you something freaking delicious to chew on. And then you're going to realize that I'm not powerless. You're going to find yourself empowered because you have something powerful that lives inside of you. And it's knocking on your door and saying, open the door. Let's play. Let's create. Let's heal. Let's bond. Let's rest. Let's eat. Let's play. Let's sleep. Let's put boundaries up. Let's fortify our, our auric field. And I promise you, things, subtle shifts will start happening for you. So I hope and pray that this video has really supported you during this time and space. If you would like a full-blown uh, meditation video with me guiding you, um, in this practice during the luthal phase of your PMDD cycle, please let me know you're valid in what you're experiencing, but know and understand that you can manipulate, transmute, enhance energy because that is what you are made of. You are made of a universal, cosmic, loving, intelligent, infinite energy. And you are an extension of the universe. And the universe is a vast place of energy, which is constantly in motion. There's no stopping. There is no halting. We're going through it, and you either get on the train or not. So yes, comment your experience below, your aha moments. Be sure to like and subscribe this to this video. Uh, be sure to share this with your other PMDD sisters and warriors. And I will be seeing you again soon. If you've been following me for a while, I'm like a chronic, I'm not a, I have, I have PMDD. There you go. Yeah, I'll see you when I see you. But be sure to check out uh, my Instagram, my podcast, and TikTok, The Healer's Nest. And be sure to check out my store on Amazon. I love you guys so very much. I offer nothing but peace, love, and blessings, and wholeness, and harmonious miracles in your body and in your life. Satnam.